First news today, we have two guests with us on the program, and they both happen to be people that have a great love for dogs, and they also have a great love for the program called Guide Dogs for the Blind. Mike Lynn Ward is from Spokane, Washington. Hi, welcome to the program. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Tell me why you came to Yuma. I came to Yuma with a group of 4-H leaders to observe the support of this community for the 4-H program by attending and supporting their annual barbecue. Now, I see you have your dog with you. You brought your guide dog for the blind right down here. Yes, I did. She was able to fly in the cabin of the plane with me, um, just as though she were a guide dog, already graduated, and she's not. She's a puppy in training. It's a wonderful experience for her. Okay, now you'll be headed back, but now your guide dog program, is that a, the identical program as we have here in Yuma? It is. It is through the Guide Dogs for the Blind Incorporated, located in San Rafael, California. Um, the puppies that are raised here in Arizona, when they leave their raising families and go home, will go back to California, San Rafael. But in Washington State, our puppies leave us and they go to a new branch of the school in Boring, Oregon, which is very close to Portland. Okay, and now let's talk, uh, Mike Lynn, about your reason to come here. What was your impression of the 4-H barbecue? It was truly awesome. Uh, there were so many people and uh, it was so well organized. Uh, we learned many, many important things uh, for our own fundraising program at home. Uh, a big event like this can be done by not too terribly many volunteers. Okay, and I also want to know why, why did you have to come all the way to Yuma? Well, we didn't probably have to, but we knew about the Yuma program. Our current uh, agent for 4-H was the former agent here in Yuma, oh. Jim Lindstrom. And oh. because he knew about this program, he wanted us to see it. We were having a hard time believing that it was okay. such a big effort. Now you can do it now, then, can't you? We can. Of course, when we do it, it won't be so big to start with. We realize that it will have to start small and grow. Okay. All right, Mike Lynn, I have some I have some people for you to contact all the way in Spokane. And with us, it was Jennifer Arce, and Jennifer was the host for uh, Mike Lynn. And uh, Jennifer, what is your impression of the folks from Spokane, 1,400 miles away they came? It's a wonderful group of people, very friendly, outgoing. We've had a great time together. Now, you've been in this guide dog for the blind how many years now? Twelve years. And uh, what were you amazed to see someone else from the guide dogs coming all the way down here? Oh, no. I was surprised that she was able to get the dog on the plane, though. I was really surprised about that. We've had problems with that in the past. So that was neat that they worked hard to get that dog on that plane. So you, you hosted Mike Lynn and the group and got him into the 4-H barbecue and they were impressed, weren't yes, they? Yes, Mike Lynn's had a busy weekend, a dog-filled weekend also. <laughs> <laughs> you won't believe, folks, all the wonderful effort that these folks put in on these guide dogs for the blind. So <clears throat> when you talk about the 4-H program and the 4-H barbecue, that money is really going toward one great organization, the 4-Hers. Mike Lynn, have a nice trip home and come back again sometime and visit us. Half your state is down here right now anyway. That's true, and thank you very much. Okay, and thank you, Jennifer, for being so kind to host these folks. Well, thank you, George. Okay, and to our dogs, what's the name of the dog? This one's Basil. She'll be returning at our Arizona State Guide Dog Fun Day on February 15th here in Yuma, Arizona. The public is invited to come out and witness this event. Okay. We hope you'll all come. All right, we're going to talk to you more about that in the near future. Mike Lynn, what's the name of your dog? This is a black Labrador, and her name is Gertrude. Okay, and I'm George Gatley, and this is First News Today.